share. Charlotte want to raise $10 million to be able to keep our title as the most giving uh, Tuesday community ever. And today we're excited to have NASCAR legend Jeff Gordon, uh, along with a new friend of, uh, of ours, uh, mini Timmy Tyrell, who's also been raising money for pediatric cancer since he was six years old. Uh, guys, first, both of you welcome. I'm glad Thank you're here. You. Jeff, Thank we want to, we want to talk to you about your mission and what you've done just to, even in the last couple of weeks. But just before we came on the air, I think you're just as amazed at, uh, at, at Timmy here with you about what he's done in his Thank short you. life. This kid right here inspires all of us. Uh, at a young age, uh, he had a friend who was diagnosed with, with cancer, and that inspired him to want, he, he was racing at a young age. He said, I'm going to take my winnings when I race, and I'm going to raise more awareness and, and try to get other people to contribute. And our foundations got together. And how much have you raised now? Uh, we just hit the $450,000. $450,000. Oh, 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 he was yes, like six sir. or seven years old. It's an amazing <laughs> yeah. story. Uh, and that inspires, you know, our foundation yeah. to want to give back and do more. And, uh, of course, you know, Giving Tuesday and what Charlotte did last year was amazing. Yeah. We are thrilled to be a part of that. I think our foundation raised $72,000, which I ra uh, matched. And then this year, between me and Minnie, so we're doing $85,000 match. And what are you going to do this year? I'm going to pledge uh, ten thousand dollars that I raise in the future, and that's going to go to Levine, and we're going to contribute to Giving Tuesday. Woo! Look at you! That's I know, awesome. I love it. So Jeff just gave us a little bit of the background for how the two of you got to be. Yes, ma'am. Most kids, though, many don't. I mean, you could start a charity. It doesn't necessarily always turn into partnering with a NASCAR mm -hmm. legend, right? What was that like for you when that all came about? Uh, I mean, it was uh, it was crazy. It was insane. Um, when I was invited, that's where I met you. It was Martinsville, yes. and um, I, uh, I was, it was like heaven to me. I was a race car driver. I walked in. I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. And, uh, yeah, but it was uh, truly such an experience and for him to notice me like that and fly me out there and, uh, you know, just, just to be there and meet me and take so much time that he did with me it was just truly incredible. I can't thank you enough for that. Well, I, I, I mean, I was just blown away that he was doing what he was doing with his own foundation. So it was as much of a thrill for me as it was for him. And, and just so many people that have made it successful, whether it's money or sports or whatever it happened to be, they all say one of the best part of being becoming successful was I was able to get back. Yeah. Maybe it was a personal something that happened to their friend or family, but you've been able to do that over these years. And what, what has that been like for you? Why did you specifically choose pediatric cancer? Yeah, I, I mean, I do think that, you know, Certainly for me, uh, having that ability, that platform, and an opportunity to do something, you know, whether it be locally or nationally for a good cause, I think is, is uh, a privilege that comes along with, with that success. So uh, mine started with pediatric cancer because of Ray Evernham, my original, uh, my first crew chief. His son was diagnosed with leukemia mm -hmm. uh, when he was, we were first starting out together in NASCAR. And um, obviously that was close to me. And then through the years of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, going to different hospitals and visiting with families and children, I realized how much more of a need there was to raise money for pediatric cancer because there's just not enough national and government funding. Only 4% goes towards pediatric cancer. Hmm. And yet, you know, pediatric cancer is the number one cause of death uh, by disease of children in, in the U.S. Horrifying statistics yeah. when you hear that, especially now as a parent, because I know you started the foundation before you yourself had kids. I'm sure it hits that much closer oh, to yeah. home, you know, now that you do. Uh, Jeff's going to stick around and talk yes. with us more because we want to hear more about how you can help get results for kids uh, around the area and all a part of Sharing Charlotte for Giving Tuesday CLT. Before we go to break, though, Minnie, real quick, uh, he's given you tips on fundraising. You guys share things. What's your biggest tip for Jeff Gordon in terms of, I'm sure he helps you with the racing. <laughs> how do you help him with the fundraising? Oh, uh, you know, just uh, fundraisers and uh, continue to do what we're doing is just incredible um you know i just it and helping people makes you feel good it really does mm. and it's and it says in the bible you know giving is better to or help people is better to be gifted to give so, than to receive um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's i felt the need to do that and uh just one small example make it quick but uh it was, it was man i went to go see a hockey game in dc and uh he was a homeless man he stood on the side of the road and he couldn't tie his shoes and uh, all these people were walk, walking past him, and I stopped and tied his shoes for him. And, uh, you know, I looked up at my dad, I was like, you know, why, why is nobody helping the mate? Mm. So, um, it made me feel good. And, you know, it's, it's better to be helped. Oh, you are guy. a wonderful, <laughs> oh, my inspirational goodness. young man. We have Seriously. to take a break, okay. but we're going to talk more in just a minute when we come back. Thank you both for being here.